Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by. That, my friends, Ray Roberts Lake, north of Dallas. My camp is back up there. Appreciate y'all stopping by. I have made a return. I, I announced this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, just just let everybody know that I was I was going to be out at Ray Roberts Lake Johnson Branch Unit. Uh, last time I was here was in 2016. I had just I had just started focusing on campgrounds and camping experiences on on the channel. I really didn't know what I was doing. I hadn't found my formula. Now that I found the formula, I, I look back in, in time at some of those videos. I'm like, yeah, I need to go redo that one. Well, I just, it's, this is one of my favorite Texas State Parks. And you'll see why. So I'm gonna finish getting everything set. I'm just about done anyway, but I'm gonna finish getting things set, deploy a little red, and we'll go see some stuff at the Johnson Branch unit of Ray Roberts Lake State Park. Let's go see some stuff. Talk about the campsite here at Ray Roberts Lake State Park Johnson Branch unit. Before we get into that, this camping adventure is sponsored by CampNab. CampNab has sponsored this outing. We would not have site number 48 if it were not for CampNab. CampNab is your very own personal campsite hunting robot. If there's a campground you want to get into that's a state or national park with a campground that you want to get into and it's all booked up, well, well a lot of those people are going to cancel and the little robot at Camp Nab is your ticket to camp there. You, you pick your park, you pick your site, your loop and all of that stuff and you just turn it loose and it'll keep pinging that platform and, and if a site opens up, it'll send you a text message right away telling you to hurry and go book your site. Camp Nab. Link is in the description below and I'll pop one right there in a card too. Use the code DUDERV10 and you'll get a great discount. All right, let's talk about site number 48. It's a double wide site, as you can see, but it's deep enough. You can get a 40 foot rig in there. Pretty simple. Got to be mindful of the juniper tree back there. It's a 30 amp and water site. Uh, it's very level and it's got a great field of view for Starlink. Surprisingly enough, though this is the first campsite that I've deployed Starlink, and I'm happy to report that it is faster here than it is at the RV home base. I don't know why that is. I guess I'm closer to the satellite. I, I don't know, but it's, it's quite a bit faster here than it was at, at the house. And Verizon is 5G with four bars. So I have no issues with connectivity here. A very level site. It does lean a little to this side. So we've got a little elevation on this tire. It's still touching the ground, but it's not completely on the ground. Wood, there is a tow catcher with the, the wood retainer. This thing right here, whatever you want to call it, aluminum picnic table, the ubiquitous lantern hook, so we're going to be camping in total comfort and style thanks to having the lantern hook. We have a fire pit slash grill that is off limits because this part of Texas is in, has a burn ban. We got a bad drought going here. The west of here, there are some or have been some major brush and wild grass fires, bad fires. Uh, a lot of people lost their homes. Please pray for them. All right, now that we got the site overview out of the way, we need to go see some stuff. Let me get a little red and we'll go check out some stuff. Ray Roberts Lake State Park, both unit concrete trails that are, uh, that's at least six feet wide, 
super smooth they are they are perfect for riding little red don't have to worry about <laughs> tree roots and mud so I'll have a, a video probably a couple of videos scooter ride videos through all of the the trails here at Johnson Branch but this will give you a little a little taste actually take this path all the way down to the day use area that takes you on the nature trail and it will eventually loop back around to the campsites the camping loops we can get a little speed now it is thursday so there's only a handful of us out here camping really that, that I really like about Johnson Branch is the the day use area look at that beach how gorgeous is that and then you have all of these picnic tables that are nestled back up into the the woods into the oaks all right let, let's go see some 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 playground stuff well here you go here's some playground stuff actually have three no four different playground structures three of them interconnected uh, if i was a little kid man that would that would be the bomb I'm a, whoa i got stuck under a bench hold on i'll be back that was totally unexpected but anyway we shall continue we shall continue our circumnavigation of the playground structure and i'll not be captured by that bench or that next one let's go see some boat ramp stuff Johnson Branch actually has a group pavilion, covered group pavilion. It looks like the uh, barn swallows are, yeah, check that out. I don't know if you can see it right up here. Mama's building her a nest. once the uh, nests are established you can't take it can't knock them down not even at your own house because migratory birds are a protected species in the state of texas all of them so if you have a a, a barn swallow nest over the front door and they're pooping all over the place you gotta wait until they move out move on before you can knock that nest down all right let's go see some more stuff for my boat ramp fans if you're coming out to johnson branch and you're bringing your boat then you're gonna be happy to know there's plenty of boat ramp for you that looks like a four laner to me and then they've got a, a restroom right there handy oh, well while we're here at the boat ramp we might as well talk about cleaning some fish because Ray Roberts Lake is one of the preeminent, that's right, I used a fancy word, preeminent fishing lakes in North Texas. And they give you plenty of opportunity to clean your catch. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Primitive tent camping scene. Johnson Branch really has you covered. There are two tent camping areas. This is the one on the point. Here, look right here on on the on the map, right here. And, and literally, this is the point. 
you'll get a great sunset that is site number 116 fantastic sunset from there all right let's go see some more stuff if you're visiting johnson branch and you're having you have an emergency and your cell phone's not working they actually have a phone that's I don't hear a dial tone, I don't, but it says 911 calls only. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Let's go see some more stuff. One of the great things about Texas State Parks, they really are family oriented. So if you're coming out to Johnson Branch with your kiddos, they actually have a nature center. And during the, the summer when it's open, the Texas State Park Nature Centers will have all kinds of cool stuff for the kids to get into. Just such a beautiful place. During the summer, Johnson Branch is just beautiful with all the oak trees filled out. If you're looking to do a meetup, actually have a couple of group pavilions all right let's go see some more stuff so one of one of the things i really like about johnson branch is that if you're a tent camper and you've got mobility issues i got you covered this is just off the swimming area this is the second this is tent camping loop number two. And it's got a fantastically smooth concrete sidewalk. Place to, places to get your mobility scooters parked. I think these were at one time had picnic tables and pavilions, but no more. So this would be campsite number 158. Check this out. All right, let's 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 go see some more stuff. I gave you bad information. I said there were two tent camping areas at Johnson Branch, and there's actually three. I, I'd forgotten about this one toward the front of the park. It is really primitive. And the trails to get in here are really rough. But it's different from the other two in that it's more indicative of the cross timbers region. And you can you can really get down in the in the the bottomlands there and and sleep with the wild critters. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So Johnson Branch actually has quite a quite a num few has a lot of bike trails. As you can see, this is the concrete trail that I really like. But where we are now, we just looked at the primitive campsites that are like right here. But there's several miles of trails. These are pretty rough trails to boot. To boot. So if you're into trail riding, Johnson Branch just might be your ticket to fun and adventure. There are two camping loops, two RV camping loops at Johnson Branch, and both of those camping loops have a place for the kiddos to burn off some energy if they've had way too much sugar. Metal slides tools. You might not want to let them play on those slides when it's 110 degrees. It'll fry their little butts. All right, let's go find some more stuff. We're gonna get back to exploring Johnson Branch in just a moment, but I wanted to take a, just a minute to talk to you about Second Chance Canine. They are a canine rescue group 
Vets helping vets. The founder is of a decorated vet and his he was a canine handler in the service. He came back and he found that uh, there's an issue with canine soldiers being euthanized after the fact. So he helps to reintroduce them to society and helps them become service dogs that assist human vets that are dealing with PTSD. He's doing some, they're doing some great work over there. I encourage you to, to, to visit their YouTube channel. Links in the description below. They've got a great event come, coming up, uh, three days of events in, in April. The 24th, there's gonna be a silent auction. You might wanna get in on that. I hear there's some really cool stuff they're auctioning off. And if you're in the Nashville area, go hang out with them folks. They could use your help. All right, let's go back to Johnson Branch. Johnson Branch even has big boy toys. Unfortunately, I don't think they're gonna let me play on it though. Oh well, I have a little red, so let's go see some stuff. We're currently in a burn van here at Johnson Branch, the Johnson Branch unit of the Ray Roberts Lake State Park. But if we weren't in a burn van, we would be able to purchase our firewood from the wood shack. Automated vending, you know, you just swipe your credit card and a door opens up and you've got wood to burn. But it's offline right now. But if you're looking for it when you're out at Johnson Branch, it's right over here by the two lane dump station. There's only one dump station. And it can accommodate two RVs. And this is this is the first for me. This is the first for me. I did not I was unaware that Texas State Parks are now providing recycle containers. That's from single stream. Now you know. Separate your glass and your plastic. Don't just throw them in the trash can. All right, let's go see some more stuff. I'm not exactly sure what I found. What is it? There's two uprights and two tables. It, it almost looks like kind of like a shooting range. 
but I've never seen a shooting range in a Texas State Park before. I don't know, if you have any idea, please post in the comments below what this is. It's kind of a cross from the tent camping loop. Anyway, let's go see some more stuff. Johnson Branch actually has a kid's fishing pond. Now, a lot of Texas state parks have the, the fishing pond for little kids. So it's not, you, not a unique feature, but this is one of the more accessible fishing ponds that I've seen in a Texas state park. And there's places for mom and dad and grand and grandpa to sit back and relax while the kids are reeling in the fish. According to the sign, they, they ask that you catch and release in this pond so that more kiddos can have the, the pleasure. Now, you may not be aware of this, but in the, in the Texas State Park system, you are not required to have a fishing license to fish inside the boundaries of the park. Corps of Engineer campgrounds, U.S. Army Corps of Engineer campgrounds require you, you, you have to have a fishing license, but here, you do not have to have a fishing license. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you want to see a great sunset, you don't have to have an RV to do that. You just come out here to Ray Roberts, the tent camping area, and this, this is, look at that sunset. All oh, that is just such a, ah, can't get enough of that. What site is it? This is in the tent camping area. Site number 120. Perfect sunset shot. How cool is that? More to come. Stay tuned. We have reached the end of our all too brief visit to Johnson Branch, the Johnson Branch unit of Lake Ray Roberts State Park. Some people call it Johnson Branch State Park, and they're, they're actually there's signs out on, on the road that says Johnson Branch State Park. <laughs> call it what you want, we're done here. This is, a, this is one of my top five favorite Texas State Parks, simply because it's, it's just lots of space, good sites, concrete path, great lake to fish in. It's a really fun place to, to camp, but we're done here. I highly recommend, whether you, you need a waypoint stop or you want to spend a couple of days just chilling out, Johnson Branch fills that need very well. Not too far off of 35, so if you're moving north and south, good place to spend a couple of days or just even a night. Sure beats a Walmart parking lot. And if you're looking for something for a more extended stay or a group, oh, I want to give a shout out to the uh, Sisters on the Fly chapter that, that I was conversing with. I, I, I don't remember anybody's names. I apologize for that. But I, I sure enjoyed our conversation and I'm sorry I couldn't do any more on the, on the little casita than give you some advice. If you found some value, entertainment, just helpful information from this video. I'd be, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you'd click on that thumbs up and share me across your social media. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And remember, hit that bell as well. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why, I, that's, that's why I'm out here in this fantastic campsite. Thank you. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?